Hey guys, what's up? Jason here, and I'm feeling a lot better than I did yesterday. Um, I'm just glad I'm making such a quick recovery because tomorrow I have dance class, and then on top of that, I have you know videos to do for you guys, and I really don't want to miss out on that. I really don't want to, um, you know, just not post any videos. I really want to keep the footage coming and the and the videos you know going. Um, today, actually. Uh, I'm doing this vlog a little early. Um, I don't even know why, but I am, you know, hence the really awesome sun behind me. And fortunately, I am in the car, and which, to be honest with you, it kind of sucks because, you know, there's a lot of times where I don't have privacy. So it's like, I don't want my grandmother to, like, eavesdrop on everything I'm doing because that's what she's notorious for doing. So it's like, ugh, I got to record sometimes here because. I, there's times where I just don't want her to like know what I'm talking about before I talk about it that way You know, she doesn't come up with like a million questions and I don't have to hear it and it's just it's it's a mess I live with my grandmother and it's it's okay. You know what? I mean, I love her to death I freaking I would do anything for this lady You know, but today I'm gonna talk a little bit about loneliness and like myself, a lot of you out there feel the same way. And it sucks, you know? We all know that it sucks. And you guys are like, oh, but you live with your grandmother. You're not alone. And it doesn't matter, you know what I mean? You could be surrounded by people and still feel alone because of the lack of, you know, partner or the lack of a relationship or the lack of something, you know what I mean? I do live with my grandmother, but at the same time, it's like living alone because I don't see her very often. It's really weird. She takes care of this really elderly lady that's unfortunately on her last legs, you know, in order to get paid. And that's how she makes her money to support both of us. And... I understand that, you know, this woman is your bread and butter, you know, but she goes overboard. Like, I barely see her anymore. If she cooks, she's cooking. Okay, cool, done. She's back over in the room with, with, the, with the lady. Um, like, yesterday, she made dinner yesterday, and then out of nowhere, she just, poof, be gone, uh, disappeared, and she started, you know, and she was back in the room with the lady, and I'm like, okay. And this has been going on for months upon months upon months, and it's really just starting to bother me, you know what I mean? And, and, it, and it sucks because, you know, I really want to spend time with her. I really want to, you know, watch movies or even TV, and it's like there's times where she'll sit down to watch TV with me, and she'll laugh, and it's the fakest laugh. Like, we'll be watching The Big Bang Theory, and you can tell that she doesn't really care for it like you can tell she doesn't want to be there and the only reason why she's there is I, I don't even know why you know what I mean I, I can understand she's trying to make an effort but at the same time if you're not interested don't do it you know and and it really sucks you know like I said you may be surrounded by a bunch of people but at the same time you feel lonely you know and that's exactly how I feel I'm surrounded by people well not really anymore I have like I said the one friend here and my grandmother all my family's in the States. Everybody that I left behind is in the States. Um, <clears throat> all the friends that I had here ended up moving to the States. So it's like I got stuck left behind here. And so, like, I've been very lonely. Like, I don't go out to meet people anymore. I've been very selective when it comes to going to meet new people, especially in terms of, you know, dating and relationships and so on. You know, because it's hard. Puerto Rico, I don't even, and it's not even just Puerto Rico. It's almost everywhere you know what i mean some places worse than other but puerto rico really just puts the icing on the cake when it comes to meeting dudes and just everybody being a douchebag to be honest with you like it's it's insane it's either you jump in bed or they don't want anything to do with you and that's not right you know what i mean it's understandable that you know what you've been hurt so many times that you don't want to put yourself out there but what does that do for us like myself you know us people that you know wear our heart on our sleeves uh, still and we um and, and we are not afraid to show our emotions and we're not afraid to talk about what we feel and we're not afraid to uh, do anything basically you know what I mean and it sucks for us because then we're stuck without anybody but yet everybody else is happy and it's like and it's like whoa really you know so it's like trust me if you feel alone I feel alone guess what we're not alone <laughs> You know, we are not alone. Ew, you can still hear my congestion. <laughs> That's so horrible. <coughs> um, you know, then we're not alone. We're definitely not alone. Because you know what? We can definitely relate to one another. We can definitely, you know, we can definitely, we can definitely, um, 
that was the doctor. She just got here. She's asking me if I'm leaving. <laughs> and I'm like, yes. Um, uh, you know, it's definitely something that, you know, it, it takes its toll on you little by little, but it's something that you definitely can't let get to you. You definitely can't let it. You just got to keep going and just wake up day after day and just keep doing what you're doing and pushing forward and don't let the loneliness get to you because if you do, then you're just going to end up being sad and depressed and never doing anything with yourself. And that's not cool. <laughs> you know, you want to keep going. Like eventually that person will come along. Eventually that person will you know, up here, but right now I'm completely fine. Like it's been a huge adjustment for me to adjust from being not single to being single and then staying alone and then staying single. <sighs> but you know what? At the same time, it's been a good experience for me because now I know what it is to be alone and to be by myself. And you know what? It's cool. You know, I actually like it. Like, I'm not going to lie. I do wish I was in a relationship, but you know what? Unfortunately, I'm guessing it's just not in the cards for me, especially here. Like, to be honest with you, a lot of the guys here, and I'm sorry, and I know I'm going to piss a lot of people off right now with this, but a lot of the guys here really suck. And I'm, I don't mean literally. I mean, they just really suck. Like, they're either a giant douchebag, or they don't know how to talk, or they don't even care about what you have to say. And all they want to do is just shag. And it's like, I don't want that. You know what I mean? I want to actually get to know this person and actually see if we can get somewhere, whether it be a friendship or not. And people don't do that here. And, and, and it really puts a big hindrance on me actually wanting to, you know, get into relationships. So it's like definitely not happening for me here in Puerto Rico. But if you're alone, trust me, you're not alone because I feel the same freaking way. It doesn't matter how many people you have around you. If you feel alone, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Just keep going. You know what I mean? Like I am, I definitely have just kept going, living my day. I'm living, excuse me, living my life day by day and just enjoying it. You know what I mean? Making these videos for everybody and just getting things out there. You know, it's amazing. This so far has been an amazing experience and it's opened me up a lot. And I'm really hoping that you guys are really getting to know me a lot better and little as the time goes on, I'm definitely going to be releasing more videos about myself. Like, I am an open book. Like, I, I do wear my heart on my sleeve. I do show emotions. I love, I, I, I love that I'm so in touch with my emotions. A lot of people, my, like, one of my last relationships, the dude, I swear to you, was like a freaking robot. And I hate that. It's like, you know what? I'm telling you that I have feelings for you or that I love you or whatever. I'm trying to show you how much I care. And it's like, you don't want anything to do with it or you don't want to show how much you care. Or, I mean, even though everybody has different ways of doing things and not everybody's the same, but you know what? Damn, if you're in a relationship with me, you better start showing some emotions. If not, it's not going to work out very well. <laughs> you know, so again, this was just a really quick vlog. Um... You know, again, I, I can't repeat this enough. You know, if you're alone, you're, if you feel alone, sorry, you're not alone. I'm here. I feel alone a lot of the times too, but that's okay. We're just, we're only human. It's a natural feeling. And you know what? At the end of the day, eventually your person will come or you know what? Or you will eventually find solace in the fact that you, you know what? You're by yourself. The only person you have to depend on is yourself. And the only person you want to depend on is yourself. And that's a good thing too, because to be honest with you, depending on other people really sucks too. Like I speak from experience when it comes to depending on other people. And to be honest with you, I hate it. Like with a passion, I can't do it no more. I was so ready to like be my own person. I'm so ready to get out. I'm so ready to freaking just support myself. It's not even funny, but it's just been the hardest thing ever. Anyway, thank you for liking and commenting on my videos. Subscribe. Always remember to subscribe. And you always remember to have an amazing day. Sore